Hey guys, I'm Noel from Bushman Canopies. Just thought I'd do a quick walk around and give you a look at the 80 series that we've been building over the last few months. Um, initially what we started out with was a fairly neat 80 series factory turbo diesel wagon, um, which was originally my vehicle. We shipped it over to Lenny and the boys at Creative Conversions, who cut it down into a dual cab for us and put 650 mil in the chassis so that we could build one of our Bushman canopies and put on the back. Now, since we got it back from, from Creative, I have driven it a few times and, and it drives awesome. Uh, other than a slightly bigger turning circle, you wouldn't know that it wasn't a factory job. Um, I apologise for not looking at the camera because the vehicle is sitting right there and, and, and what I see sitting in front of me is um, is bloody unreal. I, I love this vehicle um, and hopefully a lot of people out there will, will love it too. So let's go for a quick wander around and I'll show you some features. So like I said, there it is. Factory turbo diesel wagon chopped down to a dual cab. So we'll start at the front. You can see a custom built roof rack that we've got on the front there. Now that houses a, an 80 watt solar panel. You can see the panel bolted in there. Now with this panel, it sits the top of the panel sits down 15 mil below this surface, so that should you want to put something long on the on the rack, um, it'll sit on the frame and not on the glass of the panel, so it won't have any adverse effects. You won't damage it. It's also got the mesh cargo area built into it and the heavy tie rails on the on the side, so you can really strap things down. You can see here a camp light. Now this is one of our products. Um, I've got one of these either side and, a, and twins on the back. Now they're switched from inside the car in the, in the driver's compartment and in the canopy. So if you're setting up camp, you can switch them on in the canopy. Or if you're looking for a campsite or you're looking for an address, you know, trying to find a number on a letterbox, flick it on, away you go. You can see Engel, MSA and Red Arc. They're all companies we support. We, we sell all their products and I've used all those products in this canopy. Um, let's move down here to the under tray toolbox. You can see it's, it looks a little bit different. It's got this big wide section here, um, which makes the door a little bit smaller, but it has a reason. Now in that section, in this wide section here, is my ARB twin compressor. It's, it's mounted up in the top of the toolbox, so I can still use the box to put stuff, but the, the compressor's mounted up high, and it can't be knocked or bumped or anything like that. That compressor is plumbed into a 12 litre water tank, which is up underneath the back. And then it was also plumbed into, down here, we'll pull this little plug off. You can see that, what that we've got two, one either side, one this side, one the other side, two air outlets, so we can plug our spirals into air up after we've been off road or been on the beach. Or should we want to run an, a rally gun to change a tire or, or whatever. We'll um, move around at the back. Now you can see on the back there, I'll just place this door. You can see on the back a aluminium checker plate jerry can holder. Now, aluminium checker plate, powder coated black to match everything, um, and it is lockable so you can put your fuel in there and not worry about anyone just coming along and, and lifting it out and wandering off with it like you can with some of the others. Reverse camera, high mount brake light. Spare wheel. Now the spare wheel is mounted via this big wing nut, but its feature is it's locked from inside the canopy. That wing nut goes through the back wall and there's a lock pin on the inside to stop anyone undoing it unless they can actually get inside the canopy. Now if we see the number plate, undo the two latches, and that's our rollout drawer. This drawer's got a, a worktop on it so I can set up the cooker or whatever, make some sandwiches or whatever while we're, while we're travelling or whatever. Underneath the worktop, we open the drawer enough, that just lifts off, and, and there's our storage area underneath. Now, in the roof of the canopy, I've actually got a, an aluminium table that hooks onto these two clips here, comes out this way so that gives us a big 
big prep area for making lunches or, you know, filleting the fish, whatever, mate, you want to do on it. Around this side, same as the other side. Heavy duty roof rack up on the roof. Now we make those racks here. Um, all out of 50 by 50 slotted box, so it's got a mounting system around the outside. It's got the heavy duty tie rails on it. And let's just see if we can get up and have a look. And see it's got a full mesh floor in it, which you can basically jump up there and wander around, jump up and down and, and have no ill effect on the rack or the canopy. So that's another one of our, our products. So let's lift this door up. You can see this side's fairly open. Reason being, it's just a cargo storage area, so you can throw your bags or your boxes of food or whatever in there. Or should I happen to go on a, on a trip somewhere by myself, I can throw a single mattress in there and sleep. That's why I've got the, the third battery mounted in a battery box high off the ground so that I've still, it's actually 1800 long in here so I can stretch out, no worries, and have a, have a snooze. Like I said, that's the third deep cycle battery. It's charged off the Red Arc BCDC 1240, which is mounted over the other side on the, on the electrical panel. You can see front, front and rear wall are both carpeted. So same with the drawers and all the boxes, all carpeted, so it's all nice and flash looking. The doors are carpeted. You can see carpet on the doors, which is a little bit hard to see in this light. But you can also see in this door where I've got my, my shovel and my axe, tomahawk and my brush saw all, all mounted up there. It's all mounted there so it's out of the road, it's not taking up space laying in the floor of the canopy or in the drawer or anything like that. When you want it, it's there, you know where it is, it's easy to get to. I've also got on the shovel a padded canvas cover so that, you know, I can't get my head on it because I'm, I'm a little bit short. But, you know, should anyone be tall, bang their head on that, it's not going to have any any effect on them whatsoever. You see, back wall. Now, the back wall has got this mesh panel on it. We call that a gadget panel. Um, made from ampler mesh. These ones are powder-coated black to, to blend in with the rest of the canopy. They serve as two purposes. One, you can see the little bag here that I've got attached. But it also stops stuff if, if there's anything rolling around. It'll, it'll bang into that mesh panel and won't bang into the actual the uh, outer skin of the canopy and do some damage. And you can see there, mounted up in the ceiling, that's my table that I was explaining earlier that just pops out. Just got one wing nut on the other side holding it in place. Comes out, hooks onto the drawer and makes that big butte storage uh, prep area for your, for your lunch. We'll go back around the other side and have a look. Drawers. Now we make these drawers on site here. They're all aluminium, um, so they're fairly lightweight. They're about a third of the weight of, of most of the other drawers on the market. But another feature with these is they don't have rollers or bearings. They all work on this white nylon slide. Now there's nothing, nothing there that can vibrate and fall to pieces or go rusty and, and seize up like some of the drawer slides that, or some of the bearings that some of the other drawers are made of. Generally this would be one unit with two drawers, but you can see by the join in the middle it's actually, this one is actually two drawers because I can remove this drawer. It goes up on top of this one, bolts in place, so I've still got the same storage area, but then my outboard storage bracket fits in where this drawer was so that I can take my outboard away with me when I take the boat on the, on the roof. Around here you can see MSA drop slide. Now, for those of you who haven't seen them, they slide out and they drop down 300 mils, so even the kids can get themselves a cold drink out of the fridge when they, without sand on a bucket or, you know, falling over and injuring themselves. 60 litre angle fridge, built into its own little housing, so nothing can fall on the fridge and, and foul on the, on the slide mechanism or dent your fridge or scratch it. And, and I can still put stuff up on top for, for the extra storage. What we like to do is try and get everything mounted and, and everything have its own place. So you can see up in the roof here, I've got my fire extinguisher mounted. Now, 
It's easily accessible. It's up out of the road. It's not sitting in a drawer where I've got to fight to find it, you know, should there be a fire or anything like that. And same on this side, spin around. I've got a couple of LED torches. Now they're permanently mounted there. I know where they are, so should I need one, I go straight to it. That's the electrical panel that we, we've installed into this unit. That's the very first one we've built this style, um, but I think it'll be pretty much the standard in all our canopies now. Um, everything's individually switched. So two accessories, both switched. Twin USB, own switch. Merit plug with its own switch. Down here further, we've got the angle plug where the fridge is plugged in. Now, everything's individually fused and switched. So all our floodlights, we've got rear floodlights, left floodlight, right floodlight, all individually switched. Isolator for the water pump. ARB compressor. We do have a spare and that's my little battery charger for my GPS and my, my camera. You can see right there is the little Red Arc, Red Arc charger, which is a BC DC 1240. It has um, 300 watts of solar input, so when we're sitting out in the sun, solar charges the batteries, or when the vehicle's running, the, the battery's power system charges them. Two and a half thousand watt inverter. And now it's mounted over there, and I can't reach it to turn it on and off. So what I've done, I've got it wired in to this power point. So it's nice and handy, I can get to it, I can reach it, no worries. So we can plug our toaster or our kettle or whatever we need to in there without having to stand on a bucket or a stool or something to get over and turn that one on. And once again, carpet in the doors. Got my beach rods mounted on the doors, so they're easily accessible. Nothing can fall on them and, and damage them. They're up out of the road. So there it is. We've done that quick tour. Um, I like what I've got. I'd like to see what you guys out there think of it. So post some comments and, and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.